I have spent the past 10 years been fortunate enough to work with the uh, NASA colleagues to look for life uh, outside of the Earth. But it is light like this, which I understand as noble as that pursuit is, it's even more noble to cultivate, to tend, to nurture the life on this planet. Uh, I want to tell you, if you indulge me for one minute, tell you a short story, it should take a minute. Um, I know a lady, a dear friend in Los Angeles, who wouldn't want me to mention her name, uh, been battling cancer for the past 10 years. Uh, but rather than wallowing in self-pity, uh, she decided that she wanted to help uh, underprivileged people in south of Tehran. Uh, these are people in middle school who have a spectacular um, academic record but cannot uh, go to school because their parents cannot afford to send them to school. In some cases, they cannot afford to feed them. So you know, gradually, she recruited some of us to sponsor a child. And now she has 200 kids. I have one, uh, 12 years old. Uh, his name is Mohammed. So uh, a couple of Nowruz ago, when my friend was going to Iran, I thought I would give something a little extra, you know, so that she can have, a, he can have, a new article of clothing, you know, for, uh, for Nowruz. And uh, then he sent me a picture, uh, clutching a black shiny shoes, pair of shoes to his chest, as though it was more dear than life, you know, to him. Uh, sent me a note uh, saying how he uh, thinks that I am his role model. <laughs> and uh, thank me for uh, my generosity. Now, what he doesn't know is that I uh, pray to God that I'm worthy of being his role model. So, thank you for all that you do. I don't know whether Muhammad will grow one day uh, clutching the Nobel Prize rather than uh, the pair of shoes that I help him buy. But whether it is the Nobel Prize or he just grows to be a decent human being, I think that's more important to me than anything I do for NASA. Thank you very much.